You guys, we are back with another episode of Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, the Shibuya Incident Arc. On the last episode, Gojo really got locked up in the box. A little tiny box with eyes. Similar to how the Behele looked in um, Berserk. But um, yeah, man, it's, take, it's taking some time to process. So just because it's Gojo, you know what I'm saying? Gojo is so raw that it's going to take some time before Ghetto can even, or whoever it is, can even move. So Ghetto's stuck in the train station. And we saw that Jogo, Mahito, and Chozo all are trying to get to Itadori. Two of those three want him dead. Jogo wants Skuna. So regardless, Itadori, you got a bounty on your head, basically. And it's, we saw at the end of the episode, it looks like now that Gojo's been sealed and word is starting to get out, folks folks about to start wilding. They about to start wilding. You know what I'm saying? It's free reign now. So, hey, the fate of Japan is at stake right now. Let's see what we got going on. We got Fushiguro and we got, um, I forget the other dude's name, that be wearing the beanie. All them and Itadori, they about to go handle business. Time to get Gojo back. And I hope Yuta pulls up too. But yeah, man, if you want the full version of this, it's on the Patreon. And I also, also gotta take a second to give a special shout out to my patron. Shout out to literally Duck, you know what I'm saying? Getting those full uncut reactions and the early reactions of all these shows, basically. So, yo, shout out to you. If you want to shout out, hey, go join the Patreon. You know what I'm saying? It is only $3. And you get all the content and the Jujutsu Kaisen movie that is only on Patreon. So, y'all better lock in. But, um, yeah. Aside from that, it's time to get wicked, man. They call the last episode Pandemonium. Hey, this whole season about to be Pandemonium. So, hey, without further ado, let's get into the video, man. So they're the ones that set this veil. Okay. So they had more people in cahoots. Ghetto and all them had more people in cahoots. That's crazy. But I wonder what these people are. Are they just sorcerers? They low key might be some of Ghetto's followers. Oh, they already got them wrapped up. Were these folks scrubs the whole time? Cause they made they introduced them on the last episode like they was about to be lit. Okay, yeah. So it's not even really about their strength. It's about the uh, the strength of the pin and the energy that is used. That made things a whole lot easier, yo. Ghetto or whoever it is was really in the cut. They did so much research. That's insane, bro. They put so much thought into this, so much time and effort. That's sick work, bro. That is real sick work. Yeah, he faking. He faking. Yeah, bro, I think he's slick, bro. Yeah, get up. I don't know what it is about him. It's like the eyes are giving me that one dude from Blue Lock, but his build is giving me a uh, Netero. Well, with Nanami, dude. Nanami get a lot of praise, bro. I wonder, but Nanami thinks of himself as sort of like a scumbag, low key, based on what we saw in season one. So it's kind of crazy. I feel like these people showing him this praise kind of like changes him. You know what I'm saying? Like he's a little bit more compassionate, I guess. Damn. Chop his shit up. Eno, okay. Oh, Itadori handling business. Oh, never mind. He eating that. This is a two-on-one. Y'all better take care of him. Bro, this dude looks like he's invincible, low-key. It's like he's eating all of this. Impact blows might not work on him, bro. Unless he got something. Unless he got something on him. Like, bro, Megumi already said this dude fell like 40, 41st floor. He fell all the way from there. 
He must have some type of heavenly pack that they be talking about. Dude. That sounds like... Yo! I was finna say it sounds like Toji. Bro, what? Did they just... Did he just like eat a piece of Toji and get his ability? December 7, 1989. Is this Gojo? It's gotta be Gojo. Satoru Gojo is born. So Granny really been in the field. Granny been in the field for a grip. This is so fucked up. What the hell? These people are crazy. While they're alive is sick. That is disgusting. Skin in their face while they're alive. Yo, y'all are sick, bro. So Gojo came in and put a stop to all this wild shit, bro. A hundred million he was just born? God damn. So this kid had a freaking bounty. He had a million dollar boy. That nigga was on Luffy timing from Jump Street. Straight out the womb, bro. What? What? Whole city wanted his head. Bro, what? That's crazy. Look at little bro. He's out here chilling on his own, but he got the six sides. You can't catch him lacking. Yeah, look at him. He gonna hit you with the same turn he had told you with. What's up? What's up? You you all static? Yeah, don't try me. Don't try me. Yeah. Gojo was lit since a youngin, bro. Gojo been... Bro, Gojo been with it, bro. Boy, that six eyes really do something to these folks, bro. The six I be having them shook. That's insane. That's a kid, though. <laughs> yeah, Gojo's lit. Yeah, so that's why. They heard that man got locked up, and then they think they could wild out the same way they did back in the day. But these new youngest, they, they ain't nothing to play with. You must not know about Itadori and Megami. Bro... Toji, bro. Oh my gosh. They just transformed this dude into Toji. Damn, Eno. That's insane, bro. Nah. <laughs> he piecing him up. He just pieced his ass up with one fist. Nah, Toji was really him, bro. That shit is insane to me. Toji was really him. Toji might be one of the latest characters I've seen in the anime in a grip, bro. Deadass. Ooh, from above, you bum. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, he's trying to catch that motherfucker. Ain't no way. No way. Swole ass old dude. Yeah, bro, it's a two-on-one, and these two, y'all better not let this old man get one up on you. Don't let that happen, either, Dory. Give him smoke. Give him smoke. Inverse. That's his technique. Oh. Wow! <laughs> so it's like, oh, you gonna use your big attack? Then it's up for you. But they let go of their power. Yo, Mega Me, bro, Mega Me is on game, bro. Imagine they got him with the frog. Now it's just blitz your ass. 
<laughs> Your ass getting blitzed. Yo, Itadori love blitzing folks, bro. I swear, this is his specialty. Itadori is a jumping specialist, bro. Just straight minking off. <laughs> Every time, this dude just gonna mink on folks, bro. He just gonna mink on somebody. He stopped. <laughs> Itadori is stupid. He stopped and then released the power. But he still kept the scent. Bro, listen. He killed his momentum. I was literally about to say that. He stopped his momentum. Yo. These two is like Kobe and Shaq for real, bro. They like Gone and Killua. Damn, that's the end of the episode for real. Well... That was pretty that was pretty quick work they made of uh this old dude, Itadori and Megami. You know, they went they went at it. They're, they're a good little duo, you know. Itadori, he always gotta jump somebody. Every every time we see him, he gotta jump somebody, you know what I'm saying? He he don't play fair, he don't do one on ones. He don't do one on ones. If he has a chance to make a thon on you, he's gonna take that opportunity. He won't let the opportunity pass him by. And that's what I like about him. If he gotta play dirty, he's gonna play dirty. He gonna get the job done regardless. So yeah, shout out to Itadori for that. Megami, me, yo game, yo, your brain smarts, you 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 got it, bro. You got it. You got it. You definitely a first grade sorcerer. And there's even more to you, bro. Megami me might be one of the most well-rounded characters in this show, which is probably why Skuno wants him so bad for whatever purpose. Wants him to get stronger, wants him to stay alive. That's like his protege, basically. It's like the Orochimaru and Sasuke effect. That's the way I see it. But, um, yo, Toji Fushiguro was really him. If this dude died and folks really went out their way to take whatever part of his body and, and bro, what? Ingesting a piece of Toji so you can get his, basically everything from him, his ability, his physique, that's crazy to me, son. Like, dude. I Before this season, I would have never thought in a million years that Megami's pops was this raw. Because the way I saw it at the end of season one, I was thinking that maybe his dad was just like a, a deadbeat, some some deadbeat loser. <laughs> I thought his dad, well, he, is a, he, he was a deadbeat. Let's not get that twisted. But it was like, I didn't think he was like actually somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, I thought he was just somebody that just got dealt with. Because Megami was, like, the real prodigy. I never knew that. It was like, yo, Toji is... Toji's that guy. Toji is him. Like, hey, when you hear Zenny, you gonna think of Toji. You gonna think of Toji, bro. Yo, this dude is so lit, it's not even funny. Even in the afterlife, we he, he's still giving folks smoke. This is insane. But that old lady's ability is kind of tapped, though. Yeah, you know, you got to take care of that. You got to take care of that, bro. You got to have something else in the cut, because damn. That dude, as soon as he started to tell you, he started piecing him up. That shit was crazy. Man. Megami, your dad was him. Your dad was Hemothy, Hemi Neutron. There ain't no other way to put it, bro. Like, wow. I can't, Wow. Like, dude, he's dead. He's been dead for a couple years now. Mm -mm -mm. That's crazy. But yeah, they refer to the old lady as a medium. So, that's kind of crazy. I didn't know that they had people like that in this show. Basically transformed him into somebody else. Like, you, who, you can only imagine who else that they have. Like, when you think about all the sorcerers that have died, probably. Like, dude. If you, if you got hands on them, you could turn into anyone. And now that makes me think, what if they maybe had something to do with um, what happened to Ghetto? You know, how this, whatever's in his brain. I know it's not, it's, it doesn't seem directly correlated, but you never know. That's just me guessing. But um, yeah, I hope we learn what really is inside Ghetto. Like, what's the name of it? But um. Yeah, I hope we I hope we get more information on that. We're going to, obviously. But another thing I can't let go over folks head that happened in this episode, man. This man Gojo. Satoru Gojo came out the womb. 
and folks wanted his dome. This is crazy, son. Now, I've never seen a character this, like this, like this much of a him, you know what I'm saying? Like, they got two in the same show. You gave us Toji, and then we got Gojo. Like, at this point, Gojo's might be the biggest him in all of anime, because I can't really think of nobody bigger than that. Like, sometimes you, it could be Ichigo, I'll give you that. Maybe Yusuke, sometimes. But, like, dude, Gojo, 24-7 straight him. I'm talking about since birth. That is crazy, son. Who else is moving like this? That is crazy to me. That's insane, son. That six eyes really put him on the map, bro. Put him on the map. Had folks shook. Had these folks wanting to kill a little boy, and that little boy had him shook. That's insane, man. Nah. Gojo might be one of the most hyped characters of all time. That dude really got it like that. That's like, damn. That's like the pinnacle. You know what I'm saying? Like it really don't it don't get higher than Gojo. And they've set it up perfectly. Cause it's like now he's locked up. He's in this box. So it's like, damn, that really happened to Gojo. And you see all these people coming out the woodworks. Oh, Gojo's gone. We're gonna be, get back to the old days. We're gonna get back to the old days. Blah blah blah. That's crazy. That's crazy. And it, the way Nanami describes it, it's like, yo, if Gojo's gone, Tokyo falls. Or Japan falls. So it's like, that's that should show you how much of him Gojo is. Like, there's no other words for Gojo, bro. He's just him, bro. The fact that we got him and Toji in the same show is... We should we should feel blessed, bro. <laughs> we should feel blessed. But, uh, yeah, man. Hey, man. They took down those reaction videos. If you haven't seen those, the first half of the season with Toji and them. But they're on my Patreon. That's another incentive for you to go get them. Because, hey, Toy Animation. Not even Toy Animation. Toho Animation. They're not rocking with me, bro. So, I can't even get those videos back up right now. So, y'all go go to the uh, Patreon if you want to see those. Because you, you'll see just how much I enjoy Toji. Toji was really lit. I really rock with his character. He's he's 100% in my top five in Jujutsu Kaisen. I really enjoyed his character. And the fight that we got. His voice actor. Everything about him. Cold straight gas but um yeah if you enjoyed this video make sure you like comment subscribe do all that i just went over the whole patreon spill again so y'all ain't gotta hear that again but um yeah bleach finale came out earlier this week so if you missed that go check it out and stay tuned for more kuroko's basketball stay tuned for more jujutsu kaisen next week and i will see y'all then peace